Meanwhile, the city authorities in Australia's Melbourne have confined nearly about 3,000 people in nine housing towers following a sudden infection outbreak in the area. Residents in nine residential towers from two separate suburbs have been banned from leaving their houses for at least the next five days. Authorities have said that they will deliver them with food and medical supplies and no resident will be allowed to leave from their homes. Nearly about 23 infections have been reported from the two Melbourne suburbs. Meanwhile, the state of Victoria has also recorded about 108 cases of COVID-19 infections. And this is the second highest daily surge that's been recorded in Melbourne. The challenge today is that we have got unacceptably high numbers uh, in two further postcodes. And whilst it gives, no, it gives no one in the public health team nor the government any joy to have to announce uh, that postcodes 3031 and 3051 will be the subject from 11.59pm tonight uh, of the stay-at-home order. Further, and uh, this is uh, in many respects the most challenging uh, issue that we have dealt with throughout this entire global pandemic, nine public housing towers in those postcodes will be the subject of a complete lockdown, effective uh, immediately. No more than 500 police officials have been deployed to monitor the situation in these nine towers. The suburbs of Kensington, Flemington and North Melbourne will be joining 36 others in being subject to stage three of the COVID-19 restrictions. Residents can only leave their homes for essential supplies and medical care. The state of Victoria has reported over 500 cases so far. Australia has recorded 8,300 infections with just a little over 100 fatalities.